With the observer design pattern, if an object is modified, it broadcasts to dependent objects that a change has occurred. One example is the model view controller architecture. When the view updates, the model changes. Event handlers are another example of the observer design pattern. These are functions that will be notified when a certain event fires. When you use the add event listener function in JavaScript, you are basically using the observer pattern. This is very similar to the publication subscription pattern. Now, here is a UML diagram from Wikipedia that kind of explains the pattern. So we have a subject right here. Now a subject maintains a list of observers and facilitates adding or removing observers. So you can register new observers, you can unregister or subscribe and unsubscribe. You can also uh, notify the observers, and when you notify the observers, it's going to, if you look down here to the function definition for observer and observer collection, call observer.notify. So it's going to call notify for each observer. This is the, the overall observer, and then you, you can make instances of the observer, concrete observer A, concrete observer B, and so then on the subject when you call notify observers, it's going to call this function, so each observer is notified. Let's go back and look at some actual code. So here's the definition of the subject, and we are going to create an observer array. There's four different functions in the, in the subject. We have subscribe observer, where we're just going to pass in an observer object and then push that observer object onto the array. Then we have unsubscribe observer, where we, basically we just um, find the observer object, try to find the index of the observer object that you passed in, and then we're going to um, splice it, or this is basically just taking out the observer from the array. We notify observers. This is where we can just notify one observer. We pass in the observer, we find the index, and then we're going to call the, the observer.notify on the index number of, of, the, of the observer we passed in, so only one observer is being notified. Then we have notify all observers, where we're basically going to notify every observer in that array. Observers.length, it's a for, for loop, and then we're going to go through each, um, each observer in the array and notify. So let's go down and look at what the observer looks like. Now this is a pretty basic example of an observer, and the main thing about the observer is that you need to have a notify function. In this case, we're just going to console.log observer, and then the number of the observer is notified. But obviously in a real example, you'll probably do something a little more detailed than this. But let's go down to where we create the objects. So we're going to create a new subject object. That was the first thing we reviewed up there. And then var observer1 equals new observer1. Now here we're just, we can pass in things when we're creating the observer. Here we're just passing in the number of the observer. And the main reason for that is so you can see in the console what number is being notified. So we're creating the four observers. Now we're going to subscribe. All these observers are going to subscribe. So subject.subscribe the observer and observer one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to take off the, the comment for this. So we have subject.notify observer, observer two. So if we run that, you can see just observer two is notified. And now I'm going to do something else. We're going to subject.unsubscribe. Now observer2 has been unsubscribed. And now we're going to take off this comment, subject.notify all observers. And we run that. So this is the first thing we got from the notify observer, observer2. And then this is what happened with the notify all observers. We have observer1, 3, and 4. You can see observer2 was not notified because it's been unsubscribed. Well, that's just a basic example of the observer pattern. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.